I love it. I love it when you sing that song. I will be here to see you in Vegas. I'm coming to see this show. Oh, songbird, songbird. Anyway, listen. This I got to come uh, with a little bit more serious conversation right now because I need all hands on deck to listen. Uh, especially if you a righteous human being. If you a devil, then just keep it moving. I get it. But if you are on God's side, on the side of positivity, on the side of good vibration, then y'all already know we, at some point, you got to be at least questioning. You have to at least be questioning at this point the real leadership that we have in this country. And what we perceive to be leadership ain't leadership at all. This, the police department are afraid to go in, save our children. Oh, well, Supreme Court just, they said a little while ago that they don't have to protect us. Oh, wait a minute. So how how, how does this work? The Supreme Court ruled that they really just got to protect property. They don't have to really protect people. But they got on their car protect and serve. It don't mean your ass. And if you black, that means they get to shoot you down. Because you already know you a problem, right? This by virtue of your skin. Half of us, they done driven mad anyway. However, we never, ever, ever turn our anger towards the people that we innately are mad at. And that go to show you something. But it's easy for them to pick up a gun and use us specifically as a target to come and kill us. And ain't nobody act like they see in this shit. You, yeah, you might hear see something about Buffalo. Black people, when are we going to wake up and start loving ourselves enough. We ain't even got to agree on every damn thing. Matter of fact, we don't have to agree on nothing but how we going to survive. Okay? Because some of us are gay. Some of us are preachers. Some of us are ministers. Some of us are singers. Some of us are actors. But whatever name and moniker and label they done put on your ass, one thing you know is your ass is black. Right? And you of the black cube. And you a target. You the prey. And it's hunting season. They don't run in and get a killer. They use the child as bait to say, hey, where you at? Scream out help. So he can do it and the killer can come. Oh, now we find out. You know, because they really don't got to protect us at all. So all of us that are upset that the police didn't go in, child, Supreme Court said they ain't got to do shit for us. So we can lay that baby to bed. What are we going to do? Because they've made it so unbearable now for us to exist. At some point, you got to look at, you got to fight the bully back. At some point, you don't have to always be on defense. God damn it, sometimes you got to be on the offense. Now, those that know, they know. Those that don't, y'all go ahead on, keep it, keep it moving. But what I'm saying right now is what is it going to take? How much more do they got to 
shoot us in the back, shoot pregnant women, watch us be driven mad before we decide to say, I'm a deacon of defense. I'm done with this. And if it costs me my life, what does it matter? It's costing me anyway. The living in torture and in torment is really not living at all. It's not. And if we got any allies, either they're going to show their faces or guess what? They part of the problem too. We can't keep on being the whipping post people. We can't keep being a target because the police don't got to care for us. None of us. They are there to protect wealth. So whenever you call the police on somebody, no, you calling in the gun, somebody going to get shot. And guess what? It could be you or your brother or the person that didn't even have nothing to do with shit. So in a sense, we on our own. Okay? And I'm going to tell you how crazy some of us are. This is how you know we're going to have to deal from a level inside first. We got people that are so crazy that they just call the police for no damn reason. Or they overcall the police to the point that they, the police don't even want to come. Because they always get in a fight. They always drinking and barbecuing and, and then having a problem. And then they want to call the police when they can't control their goddamn family members. See, all this kind of stupid stuff, we're going to have to weed y'all out too. We're going to have to weed y'all too because y'all getting us all in trouble. And I know, oh, I know a lot of y'all gonna be mad at me for this video, but I don't give a damn. I want to know who's on deck. That's all I want to know. I want to know who's on deck. Besides a bunch of damn drug addicts and Percocet poppers, who's on deck? Because in case y'all ain't noticed, <laughs> in case you ain't noticed. Besides them kids that got shot down the other day, we are the proverbial target practice for these mother. Shut your mouth. And it come a time we're gonna have to do something about it. We're gonna have to stand on it. Don't look back, stand on it. And don't say I might get killed, but you might live. I know one thing, this system of white supremacy is it, it can't stand. It can't stand. And capitalism is a detriment to all us all, every one of us, because they don't care. They got the nerve to take up all the budgets in the cities and nobody else get no money for no kind of program, but they don't go in and help us no way. So why are they getting our tax dollars? Why are they getting our money? They only want to come in and help us when we in problem. They only want to go into the school and get your kids. Uh, because they scurred. And I wish a fire listen, I wish a I wish a fireman would say he won't go in there and save your baby because of 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 a a, a a fire. Who got the real heart? Who got the real guts as a civil servant? A civil servant. Certainly like them damn popos. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. All right, I'm out.